right here is a 24 hour saltwater bait and tackle vending machine. These things are by far the coolest vending machines. Maybe the bait shop's not open. Maybe you forgot your bait at home in the fridge. That's happened to me before. There is a selection of baits in here that you could possibly catch some fish on. Now, I'm pretty sure just looking at it, this is all frozen stuff. We did find a live bait and tackle vending machine. I'll link that video down in the description below if you guys haven't seen that. That was more fresh water, but this is cool because it's saltwater right near the saltwater right over there. Now, here's the thing, right? I found one of these vending machines for saltwater back in my home state of Delaware. Today, we're in Florida. I have no clue what the heck they stock in this thing. But we're gonna get some stuff out of here and put it to the test today. All right, let's just take a look super quick what is in here. At the top, looks like we got some finger mullet, shelf two, bait clams, and bait shrimp. Both $8 a pack. Oh, and bait squid over there as well. More bait shrimp. Okay, cigar minnows, thread herring. Not familiar with either of those. Sardines down there. Menhaden and looks like we got yeah more bait squid and blue crabs and stuff like that all of these selections are now in the wheel So whatever we spin we're gonna buy Spinning the wheel. All right y'all ready for this? Boom All right sardine it is Sheesh, eight dollars for some sardines. Yo, I don't know if you can see this so there's 140 then they skip the sardines, then 144, 146. So I'm gonna use my context clues. That's gotta be 142, right? I should be like 390. Okay, let's try 142. Authorizing. Come on. Give me my sardines. Sardines from your local neighborhood vending machine. All right, so here's the thing, right? We're gonna be fishing some different spots today, probably some new spots. So I don't really know how, you know, I mean, if they sell sardines, stuff has to, you would think, bite some sardines, right? I don't know. Unless it's just targeted at out of state Delawarean fishermen to buy. So here's the thing, right? Not only do we have the sardines from the vending machine, today it is deeper than that. We actually stopped at the tackle shop before we got over here, said hello to our new friend Oreo, and we picked up some bait some live shrimp so we are gonna actually do a uh, little challenge here man versus machine we're gonna fish with two rods one bait has the live uh, shrimp on it you know from the tackle shop then one's gonna have the frozen bait from the vending machine as I said man it's deeper man versus machine we're taking the challenge can we actually catch fish on this stuff that we got for this vending machine is it low-key for suckers and also which bait will do better we could be surprised who knows let's get over here to the first spot and uh let's start this day it is toasty out here man all right y'all this is the first time I'm ever fishing this bridge so let's see what we can go do here. We got, as I said, two rod setups. It's a toasty day, it's a windy day, but I think it's gonna be a good day, hopefully. Fishing new spots, you know, it's always maybe hit or miss. All right, what do we got here? Shallow. Let's keep walking, maybe get a little deeper. All right, this might be good. Drop all this real quick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. Get one of these shrimps out. I just saw, looks like something was busting on bait. So basically, the shrimp rod, we just have this dude on there. A little popping cork. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, so much bait down there. What the heck? Something chasing those? I'm all over the place right now. All right, so basically, <laughs> I didn't really explain what the heck is going on, what we're doing. This rod's got the popping cork. We're gonna be putting the shrimp on here. And basically, while this one's just kind of soaking down there with the other bait that we got, we're gonna be able to pop this around and fish this and see if we get on a bite. Yeah, I like this area right over here. This looks pretty good. So again, I've never fished here before. The tide is on its way out. Basically what we got going on, if y'all can see over there, there's all this like marshland and there's these little cuts, like one right there. It looks super freaking good. If I had my kayak, I would literally fish that freaking point right there. Water is spewing out of there and basically it's going that way through and uh, under this big old bridge. I don't want to waste any time here. We're just going to let this dangle. We're also going to be testing if this bridge is any good as well. So while we're down here in Florida, I just want to find as many fishing spots, you know, as I can and see where actually produces. The fun thing about it is fishing saltwater. I mean, you never know what's going to happen or what you could possibly catch. So hopefully it should be a fun day today. Let's hope we catch something. All right. So let's take a look at these 
sardines here. Let's take them over away from our stuff. All right. Put them right there. So this is what we're working with. Very frozen. I wonder if I could just snap it in half. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not very, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna put one of these over here in the shallows to see if anything comes to eat out over there, but... Yeah. These things might not stay together very well. We're gonna try to put this head on. So I tied up a rig on this other rod. Hopefully this isn't too, too loud. I know uh, it's a bunch of cars whizzing by. That's just the reality of bridge fishing. Put this right through. This is kind of the rig that we have. Let me put this down here. This will be resting on the bottom and then this will be up a little bit in the water column just to hopefully try to not get bit by crabs because one thing I've been kind of finding out about fishing around these areas is that there's just a ton of crabs like everywhere. Toss that right there. All right, we're gonna let that sit. See what happens with that. Hopefully we have a two ounce weight on there that should be good enough to hold. This dude's under the bridge now. Oh boy. No. Okay, okay, all right. So we switched things up here. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, professional fisherman. I got my rig stolen by a troll under the bridge. So this is what we kind of got going on, similar to the other rig. But this one we got a shrimp on. This would be a bit of a better comparison anyway. Gonna launch that dude out. So one to my left that has the uh, frozen bait on. It's been sitting out there for a little bit, so in like a minute we're gonna check that. All right, let's get going, man. Something bite us, please. If nothing bites over here. We're gonna keep going down to the left a little bit more. I see like a better, bit of a better current flow. Come on, man, we're gonna catch something. Hopefully. The thing is too, if the live shrimp doesn't really catch anything, we could always like cut that down too to smaller bits, kind of like what we did with the sardine. Oh my gosh. Is that a bite of the wind? You know what? I'm gonna walk this down a little bit. Let's get a better casting area. Oh my God, my shrimp flew off. Here's a question, let's reel this up. Do these baits, the frozen ones, even stay on the hook? Question mark. Yeah, it's on. Sick, all right. Let's move this down too. You know what, instead of casting this shrimp out, let me try near the piling down here real quick. Don't wanna get it stuck again, but it's worth a shot, right? It's probably so much line in between all these like pilings and rocks and stuff. Again, I'm pretty new to this kind of fishing, so like there's redfish that should be around somewhere. But if you guys have any like suggestions, let me know. Should, would the redfish be more towards like the deeper middle currenty water? Or would they be by the pilings? Would they be in the eddies of the pilings? Would they be in the shallows over here? Would they be in the eddies of the currents of the marshland? <laughs> hmm. I 
Those are just a few of my questions. All right, shrimp stayed on that time. Just cast out there. We're gonna let's just let both these chill and sit, and we're gonna chill too. It's kind of fishing, man. It's just like you never know. I'll leave that there. Whew. Usually when I'm driving on these roads around these areas, I see people out fishing. There is one dude over there. He's got a few rods out. But all these, you know, bridges, they get people fishing on them. I just don't know like what the heck they catch or if they even catch anything or what. It's just very easy access, you know? So they get fished a lot. I just want a fish. I don't care which rod. Ooh, all right, zero bites. <clears throat> Next bridge, let's get it. I'm getting bad, dude. Oh, big hit. Big, 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 big hit on this rod. Oh, we're on. Are we on? Are we on? Dude, this isn't the shrimp. This is the other rod. What do we got? Oh, man. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Oh, my gosh. We can't lose this. He's in the current. Oh no. Please no. Oh, he's splashing. What is it? Oh my God. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, what the heck? All right, chill buddy. Boom. <laughs> First fish of the day. Wait, come here, buddy. Let me get that out of you. Holy crap, dude. Oh, man. Look at that. First fish of the freaking day on the frozen vending machine bait. Beautiful redfish. Let's let that dude back in there. Oh, my. I didn't think I was going to get him up. Oh, boom. Oh, dude. What the heck? All right. Let's put another frozen bait on there. I got it sitting away from us just because there's some gnats and... That bait got kind of stinky after it being warm. Oh, dude, I thought I wasn't gonna get any fish today. I'm very happy about that. All right, let's get another shrimp on here. I was literally in the middle of doing that. Put another frozen bait on, put these rods back out and see if anybody else is home. That just made my whole day. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, like I said, you come out here, you don't know if you're gonna get any fish. You don't know what's gonna happen, right? Especially if you're watching the videos, you guys know, like, I got a boot on my foot. My foot is literally fractured. So I'd like to go out into the beyond and fish places that 
are more promising and maybe don't get fished as much. Oh, freaking shrimp, dude. Chill, my guy. All right, it's your turn, buddy. If that guy can get bit, you can get bit. That's crazy. I would have had my money on the shrimp. Like, I would have put all my money on the shrimp. That's why I don't bet. <laughs> Just so you guys know too, the rod with the blue. This is the shrimp and the rod with the black reel. Oh, dude, I freaking, do I, I see a bald eagle over there chasing a darn seagull. World star bird fight. Dude, that's, is that a bald eagle, seriously? Oh, I wish I had my binoculars. There's like seven birds in a brawl. Hello? I just got this other rod out there. I thought that this one was getting a little jumpy. It can be tough when you're bridge fishing because there's obviously the bridge and these giant vehicles moving around. But uh, this is wind and air and the tide. Oh, dude, so many bait fish just running right there. I need to get the cast net. Oh, I just got bit on the shrimp. I was going to say I need to get the cast net back out. It's been so long since we've freaking done anything with the cast net. I bet you I can't even cast it anymore. Last year was like my initiation to it, but... I don't know, we'll have to see. There's life here though, dude. There, there's bait fish popping around. I just saw something flash that looked kind of decent size over there. We're getting nipped a little bit. We just got red. It's a good day. It's a good day to have a good day, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if I still even have the shrimp on there. Dude, that's so cool though. Out of any fish we could catch, the freaking red fish is so cool. Uh, no, yeah, we got yoinked. Let's get another one of these dudes on there. Who would have thought, man, the freaking frozen bait. If y'all could go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Let's get some good, more good luck going. Really would be appreciated. <laughs> Big, loud trucks behind us. It's definitely not the most peaceful place to fish, I'll tell you that. Oh, so much bait right there. Oh, that's so cool. I think those are all mullet. I can't really tell. Oh no. Darn it. Thank y'all so much for watching, man. If this just goes to show anything, it goes to show you never know what the heck can happen out there. Again, appreciate y'all for all the freaking support. All I gotta say, man, let's keep this rolling. Again, shout out to Oreo. Maybe next time we'll get some of your shrimp and get some redemption. You think you'd be friends with Oreo? <laughs> okay, man. Thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. All I gotta say is let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See y'all next video. Know this well.